Hello and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. I'm AC and today I'm going to be walking you through this 2021 Antero Adventure Motors van. This is a Long's Peak Edition. Um, thanks for watching today. We've got a beautiful day out here in Frederick, Colorado. In case you can't tell, my voice is a little hoarse. It's been coming and going uh, for the last week, so hopefully it'll hang in there till we're done with this video. Um, we'll start right over here on the front. This van is available. And this is stock number 5N210196. As we move around the front of this Long's Peak van, you can see the hood is wrapped. Gives it a really nice uh, look on the front. It also protects the paint. You don't have to worry about all the little chip marks that you get on some of the other vans. Does have the step right here. If you need to climb up for something, you do can use that as a step. So we're coming around to the Black Rhino wheels here. You can see these are custom wheels. They come with the BF Goodrich KO2 tires, which in my opinion are the best tires out there for off-roading and all-terrain. We've got a nice step here. Got a nice running board. This is a fixed running board. Um, it's really rugged. It's a nice spot to clean off the mud off your shoes if you're out playing around in the mountains, you're hiking. Uh, comes in really handy. We've got our awning out. So, like I said, it's a beautiful sunny day today. So we do have the awning out. It does have an LED light right here, which I will turn on. Comes in handy if you're out up in the mountains and you're, it's a long day, you can come back, it's dark, you're still good to go. I'm just gonna kinda walk our way through here. The last video I did, I didn't have a seat. Um, you can buy these seats separately. They don't come with one only because they open up more options for you. They're really easy to install and they come out really easy as well. So to install, you put it anywhere on this track system. These lift off, you can pull these off and they go anywhere along the track system. So you can put them in the middle, you can put them in the back, you can add as many seats as you need. Uh, to lock it in place, you just hit these handles, push them up forward, that locks it. Secures it, there's another latch on the other side. I'm not gonna do that only because I wanna take this seat out. It's pretty simple. They don't weigh very much. They actually do have wheels on the bottom. You can buy this, these seats through our parts department or when you order your van, if you order a new van, you can order it with as many seats as you need. And you just push this back in. I've got the other two trim pieces up there. I'm gonna leave them up there. We've got a nice grab bar here as you're walking into the coach. Real sturdy. This is a Ram track, so you can actually buy accessories for these um, for these tracks. They make a lot of different ones. You can go to their website. We do have the screen here. We have a roll lift screen. Nice hot day like today. If you're up in the mountains, this would be nice to have. You can circulate some fresh air. It's also magnetic here on the end, so you don't have to zip and unzip as you're going in and out. Keeps the bugs out. So we'll move around the back here. We do have an external solar port here, so you can add an additional solar panel. That comes in handy if you're out in the mountains, you're under some trees, there's no sun hitting your, your uh, solar panels up top. You can add an external one and move it around until you find a nice sunny spot. Okay, as we come to the back, you can see we have a nice LED light on top. You'll have a light bar on the back, on the side and on the front of this coach. It also has a backup camera and a solid ladder to climb in and out. You can actually climb this where it's at. It's not just there for storage. 
We've got a nice rhino step to get in and out of the back. That also comes in handy. If you don't have that, I've slipped a few times, you can catch a shin when you're trying to climb into the, to the back of your van. This has 5,000 5, pound towing, seven pin connector right here. I'm gonna go ahead and open the back here. You can see a couple cool features on this van. Uh, you got two speakers up top. Those speakers are not tied to the stereo in the front. That is Bluetooth connected to your cell phone or iPad. You can play music out here and it's not gonna be going off of the stereo. These grab bars are nice. When the doors are closed, and I'll show you on the inside, if the bed is down, you can actually lean over, grab the handbar and close, or close the door. Uh, makes it really nice. And we also have a screen back here, just like we do on the side. Back here on the corner, we'll go through a couple of the features back here. Just come with an onboard compressor in here. Here's your, your button to turn that on. It comes with the 20 foot air hose. That comes in handy. You can air up your tires if you need to deflate them at some point while you're going through the mountains to get better uh, traction. Right here, you have an outdoor shower port. We also, it also comes with a hose for that. So this would be your, your water hose. Here's your air hose. And then this does come with a connector so you can uh, go from 30 amp to 15 amp and just plug in at your house if you're parked in your garage or in your driveway. Okay. Here you got your mid, mid room lights. So these are like your garage lights right over here on this side. You can see there's a light on. If your bed was down and it's nighttime and you need to get some stuff from underneath, you can turn that light on. There's also a water pump switch here so you can turn your water pump on when you're gonna use your, your outdoor shower. And then your rear scene lights your light bar up top. All right, we'll keep working our way around. So where you would set up your water hose, also has a gravity fill for your water. This comes with 18 gallons of fresh water and 21 gallons of gray tank capacity. Right here's where you would drain your gray tank. I didn't say black tank because this does not come with the black tank. There's no, uh, there's no bathroom on board, so all you have is gray and fresh water. There are porta potty options uh, that we can uh, talk to you about if you're interested in that. This is where you plug in your 30 amp shore cord, which we have right here. I'm not plugged in. Don't need to be plugged in today. It's nice and warm. Actually, while we're back here, you can kind of show up on the top there. You'll see the, the racks up top. We've got two solar panels up there. So you've got 180 watts of solar. You've got your Dometic air conditioner up top as well. And I'll show you uh, as well from the inside where the AC is. But so we come to the front of the coach here, the driver's side. These seats are heated. You got power door locks, power mirrors. So all your connect, all your your controls are right here. Really easy to get to. There's your lights. You got fuses right here on the side. Remember, if something goes out, always check your fuses, breakers. Always check your power before you start panicking. These seats do swivel and go around. This lever here lifts up the back. And then you've got some different controls for the backrest as well. This is just a dial. Okay. We'll go through the steering wheel as we go inside the coach. You can see up front on the top here, we got the nice big light bar. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and roll this up so we can uh, get a good view.
Really simple to roll up. It's got two safety straps on the sides here. That's all there is to that. Now we can go through what we have over here. We've got your first aid survival kit. Actually has some food in there as well. Right down here, we're gonna have our awning lights, our scene lights, which is the light bar right up here, right above the door. Again, your mid room light for the, under the, the bed, and then your awning controls right there. This is a step to help you get in and out of the bed comes in handy and then of course you have your fire extinguisher and your smoke detector. All right, I want to point out we have a, a really nice size fridge here. This is actually a little bigger than most in small vans. Got an induction cooktop right up here and a microwave. Not all of the B vans come with microwaves. That's really nice to have. You've got your 10 inch deep sink here with different accessories. Nice cutting board. Uh, this is the Long's Peak. This is our actual MSRP stickers. You can see this has a 161. Uh, 362 MSRP. Most important thing to me on this is right here where it's, you've got your upfit warranty. Uh, most vans are one year, 15,000 miles. Um, and Terra Adventure Motors does a two year, 24,000 mile warranty on their vans. You also get this nice little bag, which I know I've talked about plenty of times. It's awesome. It's got all the tools you need to fix stuff as it comes up. If your awning doesn't happen to come in with the power for some reason, there's a way to actually bring it up manually and they give you the tools to do that. These flash cards are really cool. Uh, if you want to find out uh, so anything about your batteries, you just go to that card. Lithium batteries, a lot of people have questions. How long will they last? How much power am I using? How's my solar working? Everything is in here. Uh, makes it really easy. Um, keeps you from having to call people all the time. It gives you a, a really good um, opportunity to fix stuff yourself and to kind of keep stuff from happening. It talks about not using oil. You, know, you don't want to run your margarita mixer 24 seven if you're just on solar, that will draw down your batteries. So uh, we'll turn on some lights in here. Go through this control panel here. This is the Bluetooth. Um, keyboard here, the, the touchpad for your phone. This is where you would connect your phone for those two rear speakers that I showed you on the outside. This is your S-Bar heating system. This is a diesel, uh, fuel fired uh, diesel. Uh, I said diesel twice in case you didn't catch that. Uh, your furnace. You can set this for X amount of time if you're going to go up to the, go up for a hike. Maybe you have the, your dogs in here, they're gonna hang out for a little bit, you can keep them warm, or you can, when you come back, you make sure it's nice and warm. You've got your tank levels and battery levels here. You've got your Zantrax in, uh, inverter right here. It's got a 2000 watt inverter. As we move to the back here, I'm just gonna kinda go through all the options here. So we've got some nice USB ports here, 12 volt outlet right there as well and then a standard outlet. This is a nice spot to put your cell phone. We got different lights up here that you can uh, kind of mood lights for the top, LED lights. And then back here. So all these are going to, most of these are going to be your access panels for the bed and for your plumbing. One of the nice things about the Antero Adventure Vans is that everything is labeled when you get them. They do a really nice canny levered bed. Uh, each side will hold up to 300 pounds. Um, and you can use it as a table. You can use it as a workspace if you want to stand up and work. A lot of folks carry a couple stools. They fit right in here. Work really perfect for a dining area as well. When it's time to go to bed, you will put down both sides. And now you have a really nice bed.
then again, if you are, if you're vertically challenged or you uh, need a little boost, again, this step will help you climb in and out of the bed. All right, one thing I want to point out back here is we do have a nice reading light, so when you're laying in bed. Okay, and it's got a USB port right here on the side as well. Okay, cabinet space. Here's a nice little pantry. It's for your trash can or your trash bags. You can actually hook your trash bags onto these little cuts. Have your silverware drawer. And there's a nice spot for some pots and pans. Up top, another nice size cabinet here. And then over the cab, you also have some storage up here as well. Now you have blackout shades for all of your windows. These are here. There's also a nice little rod here. If you want additional privacy, you can hang up a curtain right here and just kind of put it down behind the seats. Kind of gives you another layer of uh, insulation um, and privacy. And now we can just kind of talk about the front area here. I'm going to fire it up. So down here you're going to have all your AC controls. This is going to do your temperature. This is going to do your fan. So you can set how high or low you want those things. Here's your hazard lights, your research, and then your rear defrost. Because it is a Mercedes, you do have some nice options in here. You have some apps. You can go to your smartphone and it does connect to Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You can go to info. If you're somebody who likes to tinker with stuff, this is a good place to hang out <laughs> uh, when you're parked and bored. There's a lot of different things in, on this menu that you can go through. Navigation, you can set up your phone to make phone calls. You can tweak a lot of different things in this thing. I can spend a whole hour just talking about that, but I won't bore you with that. Okay, up here, you've got couple USBs. Now these are USB type C. This one will connect to your phone or, or your um, to your screen and this one's going to charge. Plenty of cup holders. You got two up here, two up there, four down here, and then one in each side of the door. So plenty of place for your water or your monsters. The steering wheel on these Mercedes Sprinters, they've got two little mouse pads here. One controls your dash all your instrument panel up here, you can sort through there. You can set your cruise control right here. This is your back arrow and then your home. And then this again does work like a mouse. The one on the right controls your stereo. So it will control your display there. Okay, you got your volume here. You can make phone calls from here. Really easy to use down here. We got our four x four. So this is a four x four. That's how you engage your four x four. You've got four x four low. Everything is right here where you're at. It also does have paddle shifters right here. This will help you control. Uh, let's see here. Oops, sorry. Let's go to radio. So this is going to be here, but this will control your paddle shifter so you can put it in, uh, in drive and then you can go through your gears with the plus and minus sign here. Again, really simple to use. The uh, Mercedes Sprinter has been around a long time. They do a really good job. Let me turn this off. We don't have a station click. The seats will swivel around, so you want to make sure that the backrest is all the way forward when you do that. I typically will do this from outside just because it's easier to do. So I'm going to pop out there and show you how that works. OK, 
Okay, you want to move the seat forward before you swivel it around. Now, once it's forward, you can actually back it up here. The emergency brake on these, it's engaged right now. If I push it down, it stays engaged, but that allows the other seat to swivel without hitting the park brake. So, as you can see, it is engaged. In order to disengage it, you got to lift it up one more notch higher and then pull it back down. All right. So, that is the Intero Motor Adventure Motors Longs Peak Van. Thank you guys for watching. Glad we had some nice weather. Not wearing a big old coat or snow like we normally have. Um, you can feel free to call, text, or email me. Let me know if there's another coach or type of vehicle you'd like for me to do a video on. Um, if there's a specific one, feel free to call me. I'll do a face, FaceTime video with you and show it to you. Si hablo español, me pueden hablar al 720-276-4241. Thank you, guys.